was you know, about halfway together. through Big South Media Day right stand, now. I'm standing up. Sort of 100,000 questions. Yeah. Still going strong. I'll ask a few more. Uh, Kenny, uh, going into your first year junior year, you got the quarterback in the same class as you guys. Really kind of grew together last year and started really clicking well, I mean, toward the end of the year. Uh, really starting to get Liberty game up in this well, yeah. What are some of the things you guys have been able to work on over the over spring and in the offseason? Um, the whole spring and summer, we've been working on our chemistry. We've been like going one on one, like seven on seven. So every day we just been on the field. We just been going at it with the DB every day. So it kind of kept us out going into the next one. Yeah, you are uh, you're one of your second years to start a brand new defensive scheme. And a three fours, you have a guy stacked up next to you uh, on the inside, and just a long guy in the middle. What are some of the things you like about the new defense? Uh, Coach uh, Ronald McCray, who was in his first year, he was a pretty intense guy. What, what are some of the things you like about the defensive scheme that you guys are doing this year? Well, first of all, it fits our personnel really well um, at the front and at the linebacker position and at the DB position. It uh, fits us really well and it fits our personality as players. Uh, at the linebacker position, it allows us to roam a little bit more and it gives us the ability to make more plays and be an athlete instead of a robot. Um, ultimately, uh, you, you have a lot more roaming ability. Uh, and then, uh, I mean, Coach Randall McCray is a great coach. He's got a lot of energy. He's very passionate about the game. I mean, he gets us pump on the sideline. I mean, it's going to be a new uh, – it's a new, uh, new attitude totally on the defense, and everybody's all about doing their job. And I'm really excited about this upcoming year with uh, this new court, this new scheme, and I think it's just going to work out for us very well, and I think it's going to be something that we haven't had in a while. It's your first Big South Conference media day, and it's uh, almost over. Yeah. Wind, wind it down a little bit. Uh, talk a little bit about some of the things you, you and your staff are, are getting ready for this time of year as the start of the preseason starts. Well, season. at this point, we're just a you know week and a half out. We're just dotting I's and crossing T's. But um, really kind of building up anticipation toward the guys getting here officially, you know, on the 5th. It's um, – a busy time, but you kind of relax. It's all about the guys, and once they get there, we can relax and really be focused on our job, you know. So we're looking forward to that. Anticipation is getting high. Going into your first season, what, what are some of the initial things you're going to look for when once camp gets started as far as where guys are from the spring? Yeah. And those kind of things? Well, yeah, we got to go back and just make sure everybody's in the right spot uh, to make sure we got the best of them on the field. Each, every time we take the field, that's priority one. And then the second thing is we got to you know work on who the next man up is. We got to really quickly work on depth. So that's personnel, our great challenge. And then uh, from day one, you know, we'll start with special teams. We didn't have time to do much special teams work in spring. So day number one, the first meeting will be special teams, and we will emphasize a different group every day. So we've got a game on the ground there as well. Uh, leadership with this team. Mm -hmm. uh, Coming out of spring, and you guys only had a, a month or so with them. Um, what, what, who were some of the guys that kind of showed some of that leadership? That you guys well, I think offensively, you know, Lucas Baden, you know, he's, he's what you want a quarterback as far as leading. He doesn't mind standing alone out there in front of the crowd and, and, and making a difference. So I've been pleased with his attitude and what he's done. Kenny Cook's here today offensively. Seth Cranfield, a lot of the guys that played a lot last year, I think, have given us some leadership. Uh, we just got to find a bunch to go with them. You know, that's our challenge. Defensively, you know, Tanner Burks and Pimasa and, you know, Ivan Toomer and some of those guys that really stepped up respectively on that side of the football. And, um, you know, I think they're grabbing some guys and telling them, let's go. So, have seen some leadership. We just need more of it. And, you know, my constant reminder to them is you ain't got to be a senior to lead. We want leadership out of all of our groups. And uh, I think we really need to grow in that area. I think some of them are waiting their turn. They just need to step ahead and go.